Welcome back. Now, the Future Awards Africa 2015 is here. I'm sure you've been hearing all the buzz online, on TV, on radio, everywhere. Um, and I have here with me the Executive Director of the Future Project, Fon Ekbo. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. <laughs> Um, let's talk CFA now. Um, the nominees uh, event held, I think, about a week ago mm -hmm. um, with 10 categories. Mm -hmm. How do, are, are you satisfied with the kind of work you've put into that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <coughs> it's, it's been a cycle that has taken a year to gather the nominees in these categories and, and uh, from different bodies and organizations. So we're, we're pretty satisfied with, with the, kind, the crop of young Africans. What's the feedback been? Because, you know, awards are always an issue yeah. with people, not just Nigeria, generally around the world, <laughs> from the Oscars to uh, the Nobel. There's yeah. always that, it should have been, or why am I not, or it could have been, or is it this person, you know? What has the reaction been so far? Well, the reaction has been more people taking part okay. in it because we say, look, we will not be able to know these people who are doing great work around Africa if they are not nominated. If someone in their corner who has been impacted or affected doesn't speak up. So when we open nominations, now we have become more vocal about saying, look, nominations close at you know, this date. If you really feel strongly about this person, put your you know, money where your mouth is and nominate the person. So it has been really, this year has, has had an active you know, participation of young people. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it must be a very tedious process. I mean, I was a part of one of the judging processes in 2007, <laughs> and that was when it was a Nigerian, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was on a Nigerian platform, and now it's Africa-wide. You know, <laughs> take me through how you put to this, this stage now. Well, it is a tedious process, and right now we involve more people. So there's the... There's the audit committee, there's the central working committee, there's the independent judges, there's, there's a lot of people involved in this just so that it's not, we want to tell Africa's story from different perspectives and we want to know that we've got credible people. So even after the nominees have been chosen, which is why we unveil okay. the nominees, so that if people have an issue with the nominees, they can also speak up, which we've had in the past. And, you know, they, can they be swapped still? Uh, swapped, no. Or dropped? Dropped, yes. Okay. Swap no, dropped yes. Okay, you said maybe CVs or credentials are exactly, to be exactly, exactly. Okay. Which is why we open it to the public and say, look, these are the ones chosen. Uh, if you have any issues, just like they do in marriage, <laughs> when yeah, you're wedding, speak, you're up gonna, now. speak up now, or forever yeah. hold your peace. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I saw the list of nominees. We have names from Ghana, from mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. from Uganda. You know, it's it's gone across. Do, are you satisfied though? I mean, Africa is a massive place. There are 53 countries. I don't mm -hmm. know that you want to cover, or that's the plan. Mm -hmm. um, there's Francophone Africa. Mm -hmm. There's the North. Mm -hmm. You know, are, are you satisfied where you are now? Do you want to still do more with with the reach we always want to do more it's, this is this is why it's in its 10th year because we're like we haven't in, in spite of all we've done we still feel like we've just scratched the surface in terms of tapping Africa's potential that is vested in its young people uh, so we have for instance nominees like Bakley Okari in Kenya who's a champion in the course of, of creating reusable maternity and, and pads for young girls. And this is a guy who's doing this. That's an interesting thing. Exactly. Interesting There's reusable, thing. washable, sanitary pads. Um, and he has impacted over 125 young girls. We, we do this because it's our joy to find this kind of stories. There is, there is someone in Nigeria, a nominee also, who's he's championing the cost for basic education for our marjories. So it's just fun, it's a you know, fantastic collection of young people who just pick on issues and say, look, I don't need to wait for anybody to, to advocate on this issue, to impact, you know, to add my quota to this, I will do something. Yeah. There was, I mean, there's, there's still the debate as to why the c categories are a lot smaller now, mm -hmm. you know. But in the past, there were probably 20-something categories, mm -hmm. and it was a Nigerian thing. And I'm going to speak for my Nigerian people. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's quite heartbreaking to suddenly, you know, you go in a category. I, I think I saw a category that didn't have a Nigerian nominee, actually. Yes, you know, that's, that's hard for us to take. What, 
do you feel pressure, you know, from being a Nigerian organization? I mean, there's, I mean, I'm sure you have African, you know, members and directors, boards, mm -hmm. members of the board and all of that now. But you started off in Nigeria. Do you feel that sort of pressure sometimes, you know, that, oh, maybe we should lean here a bit sometimes? Just because of the sheer population of Nigeria. They can't be lost. They can't be lost. They can, they can never be lost. I mean, even, you know, even other other groups that are not even like the future awards for, for instance global shapers of the mandela washington fellowship they have like high number of nigerians in it just because of the sheer population yeah. it's we don't feel pressure but we we want to tell the nigerian story as well as the african story now uh nigeria leads Africa in terms of population. So we will not be able to fully tell the African story without telling the Nigerian story. So that's basic. But no, we also, we don't, it's not a pressure statement. It's more like, look, there are things around Africa that we need to also highlight because this move that is Africa rising would only come from synergy of all countries, not just N Nigeria young people in Nigeria acting as a silo. It could be someone in Kenya telling you in Nigeria, I have a component that I can add to your work that would enhance it and make it better. So what the Future Africa is, is positioned as is that platform that connects young Africans impacting their continent. Are there, I mean, we've heard that it's, it's Africa's Nobel, mm -hmm. you know, for, for, the, for young people and all of that. Um, and we look at the Nobel Prize, there's a lot of categories as well, you know, but there's one major one for mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. And it seems like such a simple thing, peace, mm -hmm. you know, but it doesn't seem to reflect it. I'm not saying you must copy that, but, you know, things like that. Seen with Nigeria, most countries on the continent that are actually nominated this year, from Kenya to Nigeria, you know, we've had our fair share of terrorism in the past. Mm -hmm. Are there plans to start looking at young people who are doing things along the lines of maybe helping with security or, you know, making Africa a little peaceful, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, Wangari Mathai, who, God bless her soul, did great work, you mm -hmm. know, won the Nobel Peace Prize, you mm -hmm. know, but she had a fair share of fights, mm -hmm. you know, on mm -hmm. the continent, but it was as if she was not respected here enough until she got the Nobel, true, you know? Are there plans true. to start doing that here? We, I know that's sort of a tricky question. Yes, it is, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Ibuka. No pressure whatsoever. Uh, when, when you say, the, is it a creation of a category? Because what it is is that we don't, we don't want to stereotype yes. young people okay. into how to solve a particular problem. We want them to say, this is what I can do from my corner of the world to solve terrorism. So if it's having a radio show, that can solve terrorism, I will do that to, to, you know, to contribute my quota. Now, when you start almost like designing how the problem should be solved, then you take away the innovation, which is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. You take away the, the initiative, which is what we're looking for. So we leave it open. We just say, look, this is what we're looking for. Young people impacting their continent, because we do believe that when everybody is in their corner doing their work, then terrorism, you know, all the vices will be addressed. Yeah. Um, yes, so we are just looking for young people who are doing work that, that, that you, can see, you can see leadership, you can see enterprise, you can see trying, trying to shift the needle in terms of how they're governed. We're just looking for innovators and leaders, yeah. yes. The Young Person of the Year is always the big one. <laughs> and um, this year has pretty, pretty massive names. I mean, I saw Trevor Nobody, I'm like... <laughs> okay, I can see why he's there, <laughs> you know. Who are some of the other names there, and um, what are your thoughts on that one? Uh, the, the person I, I refer to, the uh, Barclay Okari, the, yeah. the Kenyan guy who is creating sanitary pads, reusable sanitary pads for women. Now, that category is so sensitive because we want something, <laughs> yeah, it is. We want something that young people can look to and aspire to. We don't want it to be so high up that it's Trevor yeah. Noah, so that they're like, please, we're not. I have to get on the Daily Show <laughs> exactly. to the young person. <laughs> we're not on TV here. We we want to be able to highlight whether you have a big platform or you have a you know small platform, as long as you're impacting people, 
as long as the work you're doing is is touching your community in such a tangible way, that's what we want to do. So the so the guy who's advocating for for the Amajiris, he's also in the young person of the year category, Philip Abaji. He's just saying, look, give them basic education. Perhaps we can then stem the vices, th this terrorism thing. Once from there. Exactly, from there. If they know better. Exactly, if they know better, they would do better. So, yes.